Now let us start off today's lesson, Algebra 1 on 1. And we are going to explain first what is algebra. Now algebra is a branch of mathematics that uses letters and other symbols to represent numbers, value, and vectors in order to describe a relationship between the variables. Now what this is saying Let's just dive straight into the wonderful world of algebra. First, I'm going to write on the board an equation. Now, an equation x plus 5 equal 10. Now, as simple as this equation is, we are going to label it. So, if you were to see a alphabet or a letter, this is called the variable. Now, this here is a addition sign and it is also called an operator. And this number by itself is called the value and here over the equal sign we have what is called the x plus 5 is equal to this number <laughs> 10 so that's just like a basic explanation for this because this is like the beginning like you have to know what this is so let us go a little bit deeper into the wonderful world of algebra now what i'm going to do is to write a next equation so we got 5x plus 7 right is equal to 12 or any number so from here the number that is in front of the x is called the coefficient of x in this case is a coefficient of x if it's supposed to be y or whatever it will be coefficient of y and here you know this is called what operator and these two numbers is called a constant term so that's another way of putting it so let's go further now remember, you can always pause the video and write what I am rubbing out. So let us dive deeper into the wonderful world of algebra. Now here you have 3, x, plus 5, trying to use up my different colors, is equal to... 20. So from this, what we're going to do is to do the little bit of label and identifying the different type of our different parts. <laughs> yeah, that type. So from starting with the 3x, the 3x here, this is called a term. Right? And from here, here, to here, it is called an expression. And from here, here, to here, which is everything, it is called an equation. 
Now, you see what I'm getting at? I'm showing you the difference. So from here, where you have only the expression and with the equal sign included, you will have the equation. Now, let us go a little bit deeper. So this is called the coefficient. of x which is the x so the x itself is called what the variable we know that this is the operator right so 5 and the number 20 are both constant So whatever over on the left hand side is equal to the result. Now let us dive deeper into the wonderful world of algebra. So what we see here on the board, we are going to do a little bit more, right? So let me set my note properly. You got to have the note. So let's go a little bit deeper. So what I label this as things to know. So things to know. So if you were to see X and why this represents x times y now what i want to what i want to make clear is this you may see i write my x like this right it's a it's a thing that i develop because if you were to write your x like this and then you write this these look the same. So I normally recommend for the X to write like this. So you can differentiate between the X and the multiplication sign. So A, B, C by itself would represent A times B times C. So if you were to see A, B, C, it simply means it's A times B times C, right? So what we're going to do next is to find in and name in the different parts of an equation. Now we did this before, but I am doing it over and over and over until we understand because this is at the beginning, right? So, take 52, x squared, right? And then you minus 9x from it, plus a 36, equal to a next set of variable over here, which is 7m, minus, I don't know if you've seen everything, minus 82, let me check. So, from, from this, my bad. From this, we're going to label everything. So what we get from here is this. These, which is this section, we know it as the expression. Right? And from here, which is everything, it's called the equation now this might be simple but it is very 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 important now this little guy here right here is called the exponent or 
or the power. And this 9x is called a term as well as all of this. <laughs> so we're making the board messy, guys. <laughs> now, from here, this guy here is called a coefficient. As well as, as well as, let me cover this, as well as this. This is the coefficient as well. And this is also called a coefficient. Now, the difference between all of them is that 52 is the coefficient of x squared. 9 is the coefficient of x and 7 is the coefficient of m but they all are coefficient and these two terms are the constant term so the board is messy and look all crazy but these are things to know that is the reason why i am taking the time out to teach them remember you can always pause the video and write off if you want to write Let us dive further. So, what we're going to do is to list the different parts of an equation. So, we have the terms. And we have the exponent. Slash the power. And we have... The expression and we have the equation and we have the variable and we have the coefficient and we have the constant Now, what we're going to do is to define these that you can know further more. Now, according to the mathematical principle, a term is any number or variable product separated by an operator. So what this is saying is that a term, any number, whether it be 9 plus x plus 6x. So these are the terms. Any number, variable, or product separated by the operator is called a term. So A, B, C, D is also one term. Right? So the power or the exponent, as you will call it, anything that raise the base is called the power. So according to mathematical principle, a power r, the exponent, is a quantity representing the power to which a given number or expression is to be raised, usually expressed as a raised symbol beside the number. For example, if you have a number, this is the raised symbol. X. So these are all the power. And that tells you how 
the base should be raised by, right? So, what is an expression? An expression by a mathematical principle is terms, numbers, variable by itself without an equation sign or without an equal sign. I said equation sign. <laughs> so the equal sign, I'm just crazy. So basically this is it, like 2x plus 4, comma, 3x plus 7, all these are expression. Now, an equation now is a mathematical statement that shows two or more mathematical expression. For example, like this. 2x plus y equal 4. Or 3x plus y equal 4x. As long as it have the equal sign in it, it is considered to be an equation. Let's flip the book. So, next in line is a variable. According to mathematical principle, a variable is the alphabet or terms that represent an unknown number or a unknown variable or a unknown quantity. <laughs> so basically variable is this. <laughs> it's letters, that alphabet letters. It can be anything that you want it to be. And we know that the coefficient is a number that is multiplied by a variable. So a number that is multiplied by a variable is called the coefficient. 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 So the number that multiply by a variables are called coefficient. And constant term are the number by itself. So these are all the stuff. So this is it for our first class, our first session. We identify, so in recap, we identify what is called an expression. 2x plus 4, this is an expression, and from this we can identify an equation, 4y, And within the expression and the equation, we identify different parts of it, which is the coefficient, terms, operator, constant, I'm just I'm just making a mess. And this is the equal sign. <laughs> and this is a term as well. And within the term we have a variable. <laughs> I'm just making a mess, guys. And here we find a variable here, which is the x variable. <laughs> Man, this is so funny. And I guess that's everything that we need to know. So that's the recap. So thank you for watching. And I hope that this introduction make a lot of sense, guys.